Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Brunch at the Ballpark in Baton Rouge. Today, we've got a doubleheader on the SEC ESPN Network. Visiting South Carolina takes on the LSU Tigers at Alex Box Stadium, Skip Bertman Field. The big right-hander, Labus, throws a breaking pitch. It's a strike to Brady Allen, the center fielder. But took a series last week and could take another one this weekend. Cruz oh, on the man. run. He made the catch. Unbelievable. Holy cow. Unbelievable <laughs> from the right fielder, Dylan Cruz. Let's take a look at that one 150 times. I mean, Lynn, I, I generally don't know how he caught this ball. From our vantage point, he had no chance on this ball, and he didn't. He didn't catch it. No. But uh, uh, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> it, it absolutely bounced into his glove. He sold it tremendously. The first pick. That's a very patient at bat by Wes Clark. He took several. The 2-2 pitch. Hit up the middle. That's going to be a difficult play by the shortstop, and he can't make it. So South Carolina keeps the inning alive with a walk to Clark. Diving catch by Cruz that wasn't. This ball is hit high in the air in left center field. It's going to be held up by the wind, and it's caught by the left fielder, Gavin Dugas. Have nine each. That's a lot of muscle in the middle part of the lineup. And Dugas draws a base on balls. For K. Doty. He launches this one into the left field corner, and it is down as it bounces on the warning track. The runner from first is being waved around. Here's the relay throw. It's coming in on a bounce. The ball is knocked loose. LSU's Tigers lead it one nothing. It was a very good throw to the plate. Burgess could not hold on, and the ball was deflected up the first baseline. The Tigers take the lead. Well, this is a good baseball play, really, on both sides. You see Doty, we talked about the power stroke. He hit it off the end of the bat a little bit, so it didn't leave the park. But with two outs, Nolan Kane is waving Dugas all, all the way. But you see the catcher uh, tries to... That's the fewest number among the regulars for LSU, uh, you, just as I you talked about that. You put the jinx that. on him. You put the, the word on the he, mouth he, on him He there, goes then. down on strikes. 20th LSU player under Paul Maneri to reach the major leagues. Now, runner again moving, and that pitch is out of the strike zone. So DiGiacomo spoiled several pitches part of it this year in that new facility. Dravinsky hits it solidly. And the left fielder cannot make the catch. We've got a throw to third for the attempted force out. That's late. Seitler actually started back. That ball jumped off the bat. I think the wind might have played some tricks with it. Arnold. This breaking ball is slicing off into the right field corner. Caught behind the bullpen mound. The throw comes back to the infield. So the sacrifice fly by Zach Arnold gives LSU a 2-0 lead. Arnold battled up there after falling behind 0-2. Four straight games. And has reached an 11 straight. This will not produce a run. It's popped up and grabbed by the shortstop. For the heater, he gets, gets a breaking ball. Allen backing up and makes the catch. As he hurried back into right center field and made the catch a couple of steps in front of the dirt. Mendham has flied to left and singled and make it two singles now. Well, South Carolina immediately does what it needed to do, and that's get the runner at first base. Time in the first game of two this afternoon. Another base hit, solidly stroked up the middle. So Burgess collects his first hit of the day, and those two have been Mendham... And Burgess have both. That is bunted on a 3-1 count. Malazzo waits for the second baseman to cover. And the connection is made in the fifth. He is first pitch swinging. This is hit deep. Cruz retreating, retreating. He can't get it. And we've got at least a tie ball game. One pitch and a two-run double off the bat of Wimmer the other way. Well, Wimmer stings this thing, and not, he hits it in the right spot. He hits it well, but the wind really plays havoc with Cruz. He kind of gets up in a jet stream, blows it just a little bit further than Cruz was expecting, and it hits off of his glove. South Carolina ties it up easily. 
And now have an opportunity to go ahead with one swing of the bat. Fontenot comes too far inside. Khalil is hit by that pitch. Lined into the left field corner, and that is more trouble. Wimmer scores. Khalil is being waved around. He scores a two-run double for Brady Allen and South Carolina. Waiting until the seventh has scored four times. That's an excellent piece of hitting by Brady Allen. It extends his on-base streak to 12 games. He has knocked in 30 now on his 11th double of the season. And South Carolina has overcome a 2-0 deficit in the final inning. Well, we talked about how good of a hitter Brady Allen is, and he showed you right there. The junior just... Dylan Cruz lines it up. He's got it in right field. Clark lines out. Morgan gives this a ride. Hit deep to right field. And it is caught wow. against the wall by Andrew Eister. Andrew Eister with a big grin on his face. Holds in out number two as he went to the wall. Went to the top of the ladder and made the catch against the board. I thought when Morgan hit it, it might get out of the ballpark. That's how well he hit it, but it, he he kind of hit it too well. It was a line drive, but watch right here. Eister makes the catch right in front of the TJ Ribbs sign, and the difference in this game, Lynn, one team makes the catch, the other doesn't on a hard hit ball. Like Another try for Eister. He's backing up, backing up, and drifting to his left, and he makes the catch in front of the fence. And South Carolina has completed the comeback with a four-run seventh inning in round trippers. And we are set to go. The first pitch is lifted into the air on the right side. That is out of play. Money misses outside. The entire LSU infield led by Money had started toward the dugout. He swings and sends a high fly ball deep to right field. And that is up into the bleachers. A two-run home run for David Mendham. So South Carolina scoring four in its last at bat in the first game. Gets two in its first at bat in this game. A towering home run into the right field bleachers by David Mendham. That's his fourth of the year. Boy, Mendham has been on fire now, four for seven in this series, and uh, he's been the MVP. Trey Morgan leads it off. He is first pitch swinging, and he drives it into center field for a base hit. Morgan now is four for eight in the series. Sanders to the plate. Morgan on the run. That's ball four. Pulmonary. Cade Beloso has driven in 24. He's got a chance to get some more, but he grounds it to the right side. The second baseman was playing deep. Wimmer run and put two or three zeros up there. Might get them uh, back offensively. Burgess has just moved his hitting streak to 10 games with a solid single to the left. Butter or peanut butter? Yeah, in between, yeah. It's kind of salty. Cruz dives and he can't get it, and this one is going to roll to the wall behind him. Burgess rounds third. He will score. And South Carolina adds to its lead. Dylan Cruz has made several spectacular catches in right field in his rookie year, but that one bounced in front of him, and it results in a triple and an RBI. Yeah, Dylan Cruz might have been better off making sure that he... And the base hits continue for South Carolina. Malone is going to try to get two out of it. He's on his way to second base, and he's there easily. So Malone drives in a run with his seventh. Hilliard over the top, a ground ball up the middle, and it makes center field an RBI single for Clark. That's his first hit of the series. And South Carolina adds to its lead. It's 5 nothing. One of those guys is the third starter next week. That's a fair ball as South Carolina opens the third inning with an extra base hit. 
Eister was a star at Pitkin. Another knock up the middle. Eister had started back towards second, thinking that ball might be caught by one of the middle infielders. So he... That gets away from Travinsky, and Eister scores standing up from third. That has no bearing whatsoever. Cruz is backing up, backing up. He looks up, and that's out of his reach. It's a home run. Wimmer puts that one into the second row of the bleachers. Perhaps wind aided. The wind is blowing strong from left to right. Home run number six for Wimmer, and South Carolina adds to its lead. Now this is uh, wind aided in a big way. And we popped up to the shortstop. The shift is on, and he's hit by a pitch. Base with two outs. And lines a base hit to left. Here's the throw. It's cut off. And perhaps oh there was an opportunity for a relay there. Wow. That, that, uh... That's banged sharply to the right side. Seitler has a base hit. Eister will stop at second. A knock to right field. Cruz unleashes. It's cut off wisely by Morgan on the infield. And a base hit by Burgess, his second of the day. The 3 2 to Doty. Hit right off the pitcher. It's going to bounce all the way over to first base. And picked up there for the out by David Mendham. Out of Lake Travis, Texas. And he goes down on strikes. Julian Bosnick comes out of the bullpen. Strikes out the three batters he faces, and South Carolina turns in a 9 nothing shutout against LSU. An impressive performance offensively and, a, and an impressive performance from the mound as well.